tablet excipients. Hello, DCT family. In continuation of our series about pharmaceutical tablets, we show you in today's video the main additives or excipients used in the manufacturing of tablets. We will detail the main categories, the function of each along with some examples. So without any further ado, let's get into it. We will start by diluents or fillers and these excipients are used to increase the bulk of a tablet and to ensure that it has the appropriate size and weight. They are typically added to formulations that contain low concentrations of active pharmaceutical ingredients API to ensure that the tablets can be manufactured reliably and reproducibly. And as tablets are mainly produced by compression, diluents slash fillers must exhibit good compression properties and be inexpensive. Examples include lactose, microcrystalline cellulose, calcium phosphate, and mannitol. Secondly, we have binders and these are used to hold powders together to form granules and we will come to know why later or to promote cohesive compaction during tableting. They help to improve the mechanical strength of tablets and prevent them from breaking or crumbling during handling or transportation. Examples of binders include starch, gelatin, cellulose derivatives such as hydroxypropyl methylcellulose and polyvinylpyrrolidone. The third group is disintegrants, which are used to promote tablet disintegration after administration so that the API can be released for absorption into the body. Disintegrants work by swelling or breaking apart when they come into contact with water or other fluids in the gastrointestinal tract. This helps to break up the tablet into smaller particles that can be more easily absorbed by the body. Examples of disintegrants include cross carmelose sodium, cross pavidone, sodium starch glycolate, and microcrystalline cellulose. Additionally, we will also cover lubricants, and this is the fourth group. These excipients are used to reduce friction between the tablet and the dye wall where the tablets get compressed during manufacturing and also do the same during ejection from the dye cavity. They help to prevent tablets from sticking to the dye and breaking during ejection. Lubricants can be added either during blending or as a coating on the tablet surface. Examples of lubricants include magnesium stearate, stearic acid, talc, and sodium sterol fumarate. We have talked so far about fillers, binders, disintegrants, and lubricants. To these, we will add glidants, which are used to improve the flow properties of powders within the tablet machine. They work by reducing friction between the powders or granules and the surfaces of the tablet press. This reduced friction has been suggested to be due to the ability of glidden particles to locate within the spaces between particles or granules. To achieve this effect, it is necessary for glidden particles to be small and arranged at the surface of particles or granules. Examples of glidants that are commonly used in tablet manufacturing include colloidal silicon dioxide and talc. Lastly, we have miscellaneous excipients, a category including other ingredients that may be added to tablet formulations for various reasons, such as colorants, flavorings, sweeteners, and surface active agents. Colorants are used to give tablets a specific color or to differentiate between different strengths of the same medication. Examples of colorants include iron oxide pigments and titanium dioxide. Flavorings and sweeteners are used to mask the unpleasant taste of some medications or to make them more palatable. Examples of flavorings include peppermint oil and vanilla extract, while examples of sweeteners include sucrose and aspartame. Surface active agents are added to enhance the wetting properties of hydrophobic tablets and thus improve their disintegration and dissolution in the GI tract, and one of the most popular choices used for this is the sodium lauryl sulfate. So we have discussed the main categories of excipients used in tablet manufacturing. Until next time, as always, stay fab wherever you are.